then a presence a person has a certain presence you see an atmosphere that your presence creates of intimidation of um, der derogatory type of remarks that you make by your presence there are some people when you, you see them you don't want to go near because their presence exudes some type of atmosphere that makes you look it's like you are looked down on yes when they see you, they make some comments, cries, oh, I'm sure the moon crop you, I'm sure you, so bad, you know, for fun and I'm hammer. Watch your backs, watch your back. These people, these people, who are these people? These are Christians who have come to church, just like you also a Christian who has come to church. Why do you make comments like that? See, because you look down on people. That's how your presence has that proud look. Okay, so now look. So identify four things. One is the facial expression. The other is your posture. Yes. Hey. I'm preaching from those who are proud. Or formula for humility. That book is the same book. Yes. Attitude you have. Look. And the presence and comments you make. Derogatory comments. We all know that fantasies like food, but you can make that comment in a way that looks down on fantasies like they are not progressive. Fancy, you know, with the dara. When you watch him, he's only coming to eat. If he marries your daughter, and he won't work too. Your daughter will feed him. Uh. So you look down on the people. <laughs> <laughs> hey. watch yourself because proud people don't go far with God God cuts this I will cut off the one who has a proud look I will cut him off the face of the earth so your looks can, can portray that you are proud and then the second category the, the set of symptoms you see when you see it often you are looking it, for it in people but now I'm talking about you yourself because if, if you, have, you fall into it, it's, not, it's going to be dangerous. It's what you say. Yes. The words. How you talk. You are now looking at my face. You know, say preaching is coming to your line. You are not sure where it is going now. Are you there still or you've gone home? I'm preaching from those who are proud. This is my book I've been preaching from. I, 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 I wanted to just, I felt I've talked about it for too long. Let me put it down and find something else. The Holy Spirit rebuked me. It's this same attitude that doesn't make people get corrected. When you are talking about a particular issue that concerns them, and you are on it, and you are on it, then they fly up. Ah, Mate, I've heard it. Why? Why? Every day, what's my day? What's my day? Me, my mother's no better me. What should I do again? Ah, every day, every day they are talking about it. <laughs> You see, then you see the real issue. No, you leave it all because it's like it's too much talking. Meanwhile, the talking has not entered, that's why you have not changed. That's why we need to speak and speak and speak. The Holy Spirit rebuked me and said, Why are you tired of speaking my word on this issue? Something that is so serious that even God will stand in front of you. God who is your helper. God who is your El Shaddai. God who helps you and he is the one who will sustain you and provide for you. The keeper of Israel. He says that he resists the proud. He resists them. He opposes them. The same God you are lifting your hand to. Oh God, help me. Lord, bless my marriage. Bless my business. Bless my day. It's the same God. He, because of your pride, is resisting you. And yet you are praying to him. Very dangerous. You can be a pastor and pride is in your heart. A lot of pastors suffer. Sometimes because of their success. A little, not even a lot, because a little, because you know, no matter how big your church is, it's very tiny in the whole world. As the prophet has been leading us in these prayers that we have been praying, oh, we are nowhere. When they mention Indonesia, 900 million, you don't have a church there. And the churches that are there, they are drop, not even a drop in a bucket, a, 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 a vapor. You can't even see the dot. Before you say that, it's a drop. 
When they call Nepal. What church do you know that is in Nepal? I'm sure there are some churches there, but what is that? We want to build seven cathedrals. Even when we come to Takrade, how many churches do we have here? Go around on Sundays. Those of you, when we want to support churches and you are sitting in your house with a proud look, thinking that you have some money and somebody is coming for it. Ah, what? Go around and see on Sunday. Drive around. Because you sleep in your house on Sundays, you don't know that a lot of people don't go to church. There are so-called people who say they are Christians. They don't go to church. There are people who say they are Methodists. They, don't, they have not been to a Methodist church in the last 17 years. I'm telling you. There are a lot of families like that. I myself, I lived in a family. My mother, my, my stepfather, they never went. They were, my mother used to sing hymns in the house, but she was not going to church. It was later my cousin introduced her to Central Gospel Church. Then she embraced Christ in a, a real way and she started going to church. My stepfather was in the house for years. Uncle, sorry. But if he's feeling it for me, he'll say he's a Christian. <laughs> yes. There are not enough churches. There are children growing up. They don't know the stories of David. They don't know when he said David and Goliath. They'll be looking at each other. That film, I've not watched it before. No, it's not a film. It's in the Bible, but they have never seen it. There are children growing up. Churches need to be built. Churches, missionaries need to be sent. I don't want missionaries to even be lay people. I want missionaries to be full time and serve God and build churches and save souls and establish them and grow the churches. I don't want you to even to be a lay person. Good pastors are in short supply. We are not seeing top. Not easy for us. Go around the churches and see. Coronavirus can create and so on. Because the Christians who come, they don't come that they love God. Though. They come if you can do something. For once they are not getting something, no, they are afraid that they'll come to church and die. Meanwhile, they go to market without mask. They go to shops without mask. They don't have glass when they are picking things from the shelf. But when they come to church, they say, when I come to church, I don't know. Because I don't know whether I'll get coronavirus. Free on them. Come to church and don't stay at home. I'm talking to those of you who are on the screen. Don't say that you are going to stay at home because you don't have to come to church because you can watch it on the internet. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 25 does not allow you to sit in your house. The Bible says that we should not forsake the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is. You are sitting just because we managed to put our services online or you have resigned yourself that you will stay at home and watch. Meanwhile, you are not afraid to go to the market. You take your children with you to the shopping center, but you don't want to bring yourself and come to church and serve the God of Israel. When you go and buy meat from the butcher shop in the market, fly some kwama. I know they won't cast cholera, betcho. I now say kololo virus, betcho. I know they when you are coming to church there, you say corona virus, betcho. How can you say that? Who told you that corona virus is in the church? The blood of Jesus is more powerful against such a pandemic. Obesha, everybody sitting here is wearing a mask. When I'm talking and I'm moving my mouth, you won't see how my mouth is moving. You need to hear my talking as well as the movement of my mouth so you get my message very well. 